Hello guys, welcome to my YouTube channel Rohu Tech. My name is Rohan and today in this video we will be talking about what is HSTS preload list. Well this video is actually a continuation video of the part 1 in which I have already covered what is the concept of HSTS. So I would highly recommend you guys to actually watch that video first before watching this video because you will get a better understanding of this video once you watch that video. So I've added the video link in the description box below. I've also added the link in the i button above. So you can go to that video and watch that video first. Okay. So coming to this video. In this video, I'll be covering preload list concept in three different parts. So that is the very first is what exactly is HSTS preload list. The second would be what is the importance of HSTS preload list. And the third would be how to add your website to the preload list. Okay, so let's start with what is HSTS preload list. So HSTS preload list contains a set of domains which are to be accessed only via HTTPS protocol. Well, this HSTS preload list is actually a list which contains or which has a set of domains which are to be accessed only by HTTPS protocol by the browser. So this uh, preload list is actually maintained by Google's Chromium project. So they came up with this concept of HSTS preload list and all the major browser also use the same preload list. You can check those modern browsers list here. So these are all the browsers and these are the different versions. So let's move on to the second point now, which is what is the importance of HSTS preload list. So this point I have already covered in my previous video in detail, but right now I'll just give a short description about what is the importance of HSTS preload list. So as the definition makes it clear that whatever the domains are in this list, uh, browser forces an HTTPS protocol over those domains and that is what we actually want right because HTTPS is the secure protocol whereas HTTP is unsecured on HTTPS all the requests are encrypted and no one can see or steal the information over the request so that is a single most important point which is why we should use HSTS preload list. Coming to the third point, how to add your website to preload list. For that, let's go to this website here, which is hstspreload.org. Okay. So if you want your website to be added to HSTS preload list, you have to come to this website here, hstspreload.org and you have to enter your domain here. So for this video, I have uh, a domain purchased. So this is just a test domain. And I've just installed a fresh WordPress on that. So as you can see here, the status, it is showing it as it is not preloaded. And in the response, there is no HSTS header present. Okay. So this is, I've just shown you that currently this website doesn't support HSTS policy. Also, let's visit the website and check the response header as well. So this is the website and let's check the response header. Yeah. So in this, as you can see, there is no HSTS header. So this is the HSTS header, which should be present in the response header, which should be present in this response header to be able to fulfill the requirement of that website to be added to HSTS preload list. So to add HSTS to the response header of the website, let's go to the website's file structure. So here, as you can see, this is there is a basic WordPress file structure at the root level and at the root level itself, you can see there is this ht access file. I'll just go to that ht access file and 
I will copy the header here it is so this is how you actually add the header okay save it okay it has been saved here as you can see this is the example hsts header which uh, this website is expecting in the response header so this is what we have actually copied in this ht access file and by just adding header always set you can add any kind of header to your website in the response so this simple header says is that apply strict transport security the max age is one year so this is in seconds and it includes subdomain preload so this max age tells a browser for how long that browser should enforce https protocol in that particular domain and so before submitting your domain to this website there is this uh, submission requirement so the very first requirement is that your website must have a valid certificate that is ssl certificate so i can show you that this so this website is already secure this is https it has a valid certificate as well okay then the second is redirect from http to https on the same host if you are listening on a port 80 so this is something you can enforce your website to redirect uh, every request which is coming on http to https so for that also i have an article on rohutech that redirect http to https into the ht access rules so you can use this article to force your website to load from http to https so this is a simple ht access rule you can just add it to your ht access file okay coming to the third point serve all subdomain over https yeah so we also have to make sure that all our subdomains on that website it should all go to https so that includes your triple w subdomain as well so you should make sure that all your subdomains should also be redirected to the https protocol so in this point hsts header is broken down into different parts so in this it has explained that the max age must be at least this second that is one year it should include subdomain directive there should be a preload directive also and if you are serving an additional redirect from your https site that redirect must have an hsts header so now that we have added this header let's check the domain again so this particular status tells you that this domain is not in hsts preload list so under eligibility you can see that this domain is eligible for preloading although we recommend fixing the following warnings and we have already say, checked uh, all the submission requirement that the website should always be on https and it should redirect all the http to https on the same host so when i saw this warning i was also worried and confused and how should i proceed further with this warning but then what I did was since my website is hosted on site ground I went on the site ground support and I checked with the support guy so when I asked him about this so what he said was finally that I can tell you for sure that HTTP is working correctly if this so he has mentioned about why no padlock website so let's go to this website why no padlock and here I have run the result over this domain so as you can see the SSL connection it has already passed on everything and there is no mixed content so the force HTTP is also working the web server is forcing you to use SSL so this domain is already passed all these tests of forcing the HTTPS about the SSL certificate and everything we can still submit this uh, to this website but let's see if we can just get rid of this so for that i have a workaround here so you can just add env equal to https at the end of this rule of the ht access rule which we had just added see we have saved it 
now let's again check so it is not preloaded that is it has not yet been added to preload list and under eligibility you can see it is eligible for hsts preload list so we can easily add this domain to the preload list so earlier also you can you could have added uh, this to the preload list just that there was this warning and the fix which i just added was nothing but i've just added a small modifier here just to tell the server that always add this header whenever the environment is https and because of that when we submitted the domain here and when they checked this domain on http they did not got hsts header in the response whereas for https they got the hsts header back that was the only difference and because of that it was giving us the warning i can also show you now so earlier there was no uh, hsts header in this uh, response header now if we can refresh this here you can see that header and since this has been added in the response header my domain is become eligible for the hsts preload list now let's go and submit this domain to hsts preload list okay this is the success it's now pending inclusion in hsts preload list make sure that continue to satisfy all the preload requirement or it will be removed so you have to make sure that all this requirement are still maintained on your website or uh, by any chance if the ssl certificate is getting expired or your redirect rules are uh, getting removed from your ht access file or maybe virtual host file in any of this uh, case the domain will be removed from the hsts preload list so this is how you add your domain to the hsts preload list all right then thank you so much for watching this video if you like this video don't forget to give a thumbs up share it with your friends and also ask them to share it with their friends and as i always say that your feedback is most important for me to come up with more useful content so please comment on this video even if you like or dislike it and lastly don't forget to subscribe to my channel rohu tech that's all for today's video next time i will come up with some other useful video till then stay tuned stay healthy be kind and keep hustling thank you so much